Hey everybody, this is Technoli, and today we have another channel subscriber build. This turned out to be a really nice system. This is a Ryzen 9 3900X, and we used a board we haven't used before. This is that Asus Tough Gaming X570 Plus. Turned out to be a really nice board for hack. And so, let me show you this case. This is a nice case. This is a Cooler Master, and it has these three fans come with it, these RGB fans. You've got some nice little uh, panel up here with your headphone jack and mic input, reset, two USB 3s. So that's nice. And look at the inside of this. This is pretty cool. There it is. Now he's got 64 gigs of RAM in this puppy. We got this Red Devil 5700 XT. Turned out to be really nice. And I don't know what they did, guys, with the new AMD fan for these 3900s, but it's quiet. And it is different than the ones they used to ship with the processors. So good tip on that. Uh, usually those things are just noisy as can be, but really, really quiet in this one. So we got a, we got a nice case here. Really nice. This is a lighter case than some of the other ones, but it's not flimsy. It is nice and strong. So I like it, especially for shipping because uh, we don't want to pay a bunch of money for shipping. So there it is. And uh, we're going to show you the EFI on this one. You're going to have it on my website. And guys, let's do some benchmarks on this thing and let's see what you think about it. All right, let's go. Okay, guys. First of all, I want to thank you guys for this right here. We are like 10 subscribers away from 15,000 subscribers. You know, I started this channel last December 28th, and it was more of a channel for computer repairs, you know, Windows, uh, Macs, uh, upgrades, and that type of thing. And it wasn't, uh, you know, there's so many people out there doing things like that. And I was doing reviews and things, things of that nature. And then I did a Hackintosh video just for the heck of it, and that's when my channel really took off and so that is why I decided to you know stick with basically Hackintosh computers because you know it was growing my channel very quickly um, but I just want to thank you guys for that I really appreciate it now let's see if we can double it that would be awesome all right guys so thank you let's get out of here and let's get over to Geekbench and let's see what kind of score this one is pulling with this motherboard you know because different motherboards will give you better or lower performance so let's see what it'll do let's run it okay guys coming down to the end let's see where we whoa 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 1334 on a single um that's really good 12,369 and that is awesome let's look Mac benchmarks yeah above anything above the Mac Pro above everything by a hundred points and that's a lot and 12,000 oh my gosh this is really good so we're over this Mac Pro we're just under this iMac Pro and uh, these are Xeon processors, by the way, guys. So, you know, Ryzen, Threadripper, they're just killing Intel, aren't they? They really are. Um, wow, that's amazing scores. All right, well, let's see what Cinebench does. Okay, let's run it. Now it's that 5700 graphics card in here, that Red Devil. And uh, let's run this.
Okay, guys, coming down to the end of it here, and this is nice and speedy. Let's see what we end up with. Okay, 7276. So we're above the 1950X 16 core Threadripper, which is kind of a nice thing to have. Um, this is excellent scores, of course, guys. Um, the Intel i9 9900K gives you a score of 4800. So this is uh this is a massive score you know it, it really is now a lot of guys want to know does this thing bench better in windows than in the hack than mac os so let's do it this is a dual boot system so let's run over to windows let's boot it up and let's do these same benchmarks on the windows side Okay, guys, so we're up here in Windows 10, and we're going to run Geekbench. Geekbench 5. Let's see what scores we get with this thing on Windows. Okay, guys, coming down to the end of it here. Let's see. Ooh, how could that be? So 12.49 on a single... On the Mac side, we had 1334 and 12167. That's about the same. We had 12,003. So, yeah, that kind of surprises me, really. I thought the Windows side might have a better score. Okay, let's check out. Uh, let's check out Cinebench. Let's run this and see where we are. Okay, coming down to the end of it here, and this is really quick, as we can see. Let's see. We were at uh, basically 7,300 on the Hackintosh side. 7,013. How can this be? So we're getting better performances on these benchmarks on the Hackintosh side. Well, I like that a lot. All right. So there we go. We've got dual boot, and I'm going to show you how you choose the boot when you come up to the little uh, boot menu, okay? Okay, guys, we're going to come up here to the boot menu, and we'll show you what we have. Okay, so we've got our Windows, or we can choose Mac OS. I'm going to go ahead and choose Mac OS. And that's it, guys. This turned out to be a really, really nice system. Um, I'm going to give you a list of the parts in the description on this one. And um, also the total cost of this. So it wasn't that bad, really. So there we are. We're back in. And uh, everything is really nice on this one. We've got our audio all working there's our HDMI audio all working and here's our internal speakers and microphone input we're gonna test the microphone input and just like always microphones on Ryzen's just do not work so what you can do on that there's a little $8 dongle you can buy USB dongle if you need to have mic input on Amazon that you can use in its place and that'll give you a mic input so we're good there and uh, on these Ryzen's the best thing to do for sleep is to go ahead and set the computer to never sleep and then turn off your display at whatever minutes you like 
And I also tell it to put the hard disk to sleep whenever possible. And that works really nice and it'll wake up with just you moving the mouse. So there we go. Uh, we're good to go. So we got good specs on this one. Relatively inexpensive computer for what all it can do. And that's it. So got a lot more coming up, guys. A lot of new builds coming up. And uh, we're going to see you guys on the next video.